Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your internal Xbox One hard drive for a super fast solid state hard drive. Uh, it's time to upgrade your hard drive guys. They're extremely fast, light on resources. You're going to love the new experience it offers your games console. I've got an Indylinx hard drive here. Uh, if you can't get Indylinx, any of the make will do. They're quite expensive but the price is, uh, is coming down quite quickly. Uh, I'll put some links down at the bottom of this page for you. So you're going to need a few things to do this job. Uh, if you need to know how to get the console open, I'll put a, a link to another video underneath this video as well for you. You will also need an external hard drive reader. Links are going to be underneath this video for you. So this is our old hard drive that's come out of the Xbox 360. doesn't matter which model it is, the process is the same for all, all three models. Yeah, here's the new solid state hard drive and you're also going to need an external hard drive reader such as this uh, because we're going to need to pre-partition the drive before we can put it into the Xbox One. So the process is going to go like this guys. We're going to download some software onto our computer. Then we're going to plug our solid state hard drive into our external hard drive reader and we're going to partition the drive. Once we've done that, we're going to put the drive into the Xbox One. Then we're going to need an OSU One file, which I'll, again, I'll provide a link for underneath this video. And then this will allow us to update the Xbox One with the latest software. And then we're pretty much done. Take a new hard drive, put it into the enclosure, switch it on at the back, make sure it's plugged into the mains, and then the USB plugged into your computer. Okay then guys, let's jump straight in. First thing you need to do, scroll underneath this video, click on the link for Xbox One partitioning. It should take you to CD247's partition page. Scroll down until you get to this section here. Now we want to click on this link here to download the files for the Xbox One partition software. Left click onto it. Click onto the boot admin file. And in this particular case, we've got the Xbox One S. We're going to click on the S. Click on the boot admin file to download. So we've downloaded the boot animation file here. And we also just want to click back on here. Click back to Xbox One. And we also want the Xbox One HD Master here. So left click once onto that. Left click onto Xbox One Master. We want Windows. Click on download up here. So we've now got the two files downloaded that we need. We're also going to need this OSU1 file, we'll come back to that shortly. So we've got both these files here in our download folder. So if you click on the file explorer down the bottom and the yellow folder, and if we just go to download, see so up here, left click once. We've got the Xbox One software here and we've got this boot animation file here as well. We're going to keep that boot animation file there, but we're going to move this. So what I want you to do is double click on this folder here to reveal the, the actual folder. And we're going to move this, we're going to move this to Windows C. You can always delete it afterwards if you like, but we're just going to drag it down to Windows C. So put the pointer onto it, hold the left click button down, drag it to Windows C. And if we go to Windows C, we'll see that this Xbox One software is now, it's now in our C drive for now. So there is a good reason why we're putting it there, uh, so that we can access it with a command prompt. But for now, we can close this down. So now what I want you to do is close everything down if you've got the, still got the windows open. You can keep the CD247 page up because we want the OSU1 file shortly, but just minimise that for now. We're going to use the command prompt, so take the pointer down to the, to the search box, left click into it and type in CMD. Now what we want is to run the command prompt as an administrator, so left click once on administrator. Click on yes. So we're going to use the Xbox One partition software now to partition your new hard drive, the solid state drive. So make sure your SSD is plugged into the external reader, plugged into your computer and switched on. Just double check that it's switched on and making a whirring noise. Once that's done, we can get we can get started. So first thing we want to do then, back down to the yellow folder, left click once onto it. We're going to go to Windows C where we put the software. We're going to double click on the Xbox One Master. We're going to double click on Windows. Now, this is the path that we want here. 
put the pointer onto where it says Windows here. Left click once onto it. Now I want you to right click once on Win. Put the pointer onto Copy Address and left click. We've copied this address here now. We can close this down. Now back to the command prompt. What we want to do is type in cd for change directory, space, and then you want to paste. You can use Control and V if you like. Control and V. And then we want to press the Enter key. We're now into the Xbox One software. Now you want to type, type in create underscore Xbox underscore drive dot BAT bat. So create underscore Xbox underscore drive dot bat. Press the Enter key. OK, we're in. Right, let's press any key. It's given us some options here. We want option A, which is replace or upgrade without a working original drive. So this is the standard default option. Click on A and press enter. It's now scanning for the drives on your computer. We want to select the external solid state hard drive that you've got plugged in. You don't want to select disk zero. That's normally your own hard drive on your computer. So just double check that. We're using a 500 gig hard drive, by the way, but while you're at it, I recommend you use a one terabyte or two terabytes hard drive, being as you're going to the trouble of upgrading. But I've got a 500 gig hard drive, which is disk one, and I'm going to select one and press enter. This will erase all data on the disk. Just double check that you uh, that you selected one. We have, and we're going to click on yes, Y, enter. I've got a 500 gig hard drive here, so I'm going to select A, but if you've got one terabyte or two terabytes, click on B or C. A, enter. This is now partitioning the drive for us so that it will be compatible with your Xbox One. Okay, as we can see, five partitions have been created down here on our new hard drive. This is now formatted and correctly compatible with your Xbox One console. So we can just close everything down for now. Close the command prompt down. Go down to File Explorer. And I want us to click on System Updates. You'll notice down here on your hard drive, this is your Xbox One hard drive down here. You'll see that you've got System Update and you've got System Update 2. Let's, collect, let's click on System Update, the first one. In this folder here, we need to create two new folders. So right click, click on new and left click once on folder. We're going to call this A with a capital, capital A, press enter. Do this again, so right click, new, folder, and we're going to call this one B, capital B, enter. Okay, for now that's all we need to do. So all these other partitions are empty apart from the system updates where we put an A and a B folder. We can now close this down and we can now move on to the Xbox. Okay guys, just a quick recap then. So the solid state hard drive we've had plugged into our computer. We've formatted it with the correct five partitions. We've made an A and B folder in the system update folder. Now we're ready to put it into the Xbox briefly, but we will need to take it out again later. But for now, Plug your, plug your hard drive in. And now we get to plug it into the monitor, so switch your console on. Switch your console on with this button just here. It will tell us there's an error when we boot it up, but that's fine. We'll wait, wait till we get a picture on the screen and we can turn it back off again. So we booted up the Xbox One. This is what we see on the screen, and that's perfectly normal, by the way. So now we've got this, we can switch the console back off again. This is just enough for the Xbox to put some extra files onto the disk for us so that we can continue with the next stage, which is downloading OSU1 file and putting that onto the hard drive. So the next step is to go jump back, jump back onto your computer, and we're going to go back to the CD247 page that we've still got here, and we want to download the OSU1 file. So on the Microsoft's website, we're going to click on this link here. What we're looking for is the OSU1 file here, left click once. So this is now downloading the OSU1 file. It can take a few minutes to do, so we'll come back shortly. 
Okay everyone, so the OSU one file is now downloaded down here. Uh, what we want to do now is just to have a quick look at it in the folder. So we're going to click on show in the folder. So there's your OSU one file here. What we need to do is we need to put this onto a USB stick. So uh, get your USB stick and put it into your computer. I've already got one inserted and I've got it down here as volume D over here. And you need to make sure that your USB stick uh, is formatted to NTFS. So to do this, right click on your USB stick when it appears in this list. Mine's labelled New Volume D. Right click onto it. Go down to Format. Left click on Format. Make sure this is NTFS. It might be showing as FAT32 or XFAT. Make sure it's on NTFS and click on Start. That will now format it. Click on OK over here. That will now format it to the correct format. OK, so that's now formatted. Next thing to do then. Go back down to File Explorer, the yellow folder. Go to Downloads. Here's the OSU1 file here. It's zipped up at the moment, so double click onto it. Now, this is the root folder here that we want. So what we want to do is put this onto your USB stick. So, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, just for simplicity, I'm just going to highlight it. I'm just going to drag it down to over here. I'm just going to let go on the volume D. And that is now copying this complete folder, this folder and all its contents onto our USB stick over here. It's going to take a few minutes. We'll come back shortly. So we put our OSU1 file onto the USB stick. It's now time to put this onto the console, get the software updates onto the solid state hard drive. Once we've done that, you're almost done. USB stick. Plug your USB stick in. You want to put it into troubleshooting mode. So if you've got the Xbox One S, it's eject button, sync button and the on off button. Keep your finger on the eject button and the sync button. Hold the eject button down, hold the sync button down, sync button down. Press the on off button once and then keep the other two buttons held firmly down until we hear the second beep. We should now be in troubleshoot mode. So now we're in troubleshoot mode. Make sure your controller's synced up to the console. You can use the USB port at the back if you've got your USB stick plugged in. You need the USB plugged in to do this, by the way. So move continue across to offline system update. Click onto it. That will now start the OSU1 file update to put the software onto your console. So the OSU1 file has now successfully been installed onto the console. There's one, thought, one more thing that we need to do though, and that's to put the boot animation onto the hard drive. The boot animation is the startup green Xbox screen. It will still work without it, but if you want to, if you want your console to look good, you still want you want your Xbox logo to boot up before the operating system kicks in. So we're going to put that onto the onto the hard drive. So what you need to do now is turn the console off, take the hard drive out, put it back into the hard drive external reader, and hook it back up to the computer again. So this is the final step now. We've got the software onto the solid state hard drive. We're all good to go there. We just need to put the boot animation on. So the boot animation, if you remember, was in the downloads folder. So go down to File Explorer, click onto it. Go to downloads. And we want to click onto boot animation, right click onto it, select copy. And we're going to go down to to our hard drive and the partitions here we're going to go to system update and left click onto it by the way guys if when you plug your external hard drive reader in and it tells you there's a problem with the partitions it, may, it will ask you to repair them just, just click on scan and repair and it should be fine after that so what we need to do now is we need to put this boot animation file into folder a and folder b so double click on folder a right click click on paste and that puts the boot animation file into folder a Go, click on system updates up here double click on folder B and now right click and paste boot animation into folder B as well and now you can close that down you can switch your external hard drive reader off take the solid state drive out of it put it back into your console boot it up and away you go you're now good to go with a super fast hard drive